up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'll be teaching you guys how you can recreate this crazy looking kaleidoscope glow chroma effect. It's just a really cool effect that you can apply to your music videos or just to enhance up the look and overall essence feel of your videos. It's a common effect that can also be achieved through lenses or ND filters, but today we'll just be using Premiere Pro to recreate this effect. No plugins at all whatsoever. And it's a really simple effect that you guys can follow along and recreate for your future projects. Before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe. It's free, all this work is free, so it really mean a lot if you guys could. Also, if you guys create something new, make sure to add us on Instagram at 11% prod. We'd love to see what you guys recreate. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. All right, guys. So now that we are finally in Premiere Pro, um, you're going to obviously want to have your footage loaded in. So a good pre notion I'd say to recording this effect and, you know, capturing it in its fullest is having your subject close ups for this shot. So I like to personally have like a frame with my subject's face is mainly in the shot and then we'll direct the kaleidoscope around that subject. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our library and we're going to hit this new item icon right here and we're going to create an adjustment layer. Hit OK and make sure it matches your frame sequence and then we are going to drag this adjustment layer over the length of our clip. So now we have an adjustment layer and you know nothing happened. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our effects and we are going to apply the replicant effect in Premiere Pro, or replicate. And we're going to apply this to our adjustment layer and you can see that it just created this you know tile effect of our video. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the replicate effect icon and we're going to hit create an ellipse mask. Now, this is pretty much where the effect comes into play. I'm going to drag this ellipse over my subject's face and we're just going to expand it just a tad bit uh, up and down. And then a key part of this effect is we're going to hit invert. And now you can see we have all of our subject replicants around him um, with him in the middle. But it creates this, you know, cheesy looking like 90s slideshow transition. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend this. We're going to increase the, the feather on the mask right here all the way up to like a high value. I have it at like 220 over here. And then you can see we have this middle frame kind of blended in. I'm just going to expand it just a tad bit just so we have some more of our subject in the frame. And if your subject is moving around a lot, my subject, I'm lucky with this clip because they stay pretty much in the center. You can go ahead and animate the mask of your replicant effect so you can follow your subject or their face or whatever you're tracking. Now for the next step of this effect, we're going to make sure that you're still clicking on this adjustment layer and we are going to come over here to the opacity tab and then we are going to click this pen tool this free draw bezier i'm going to hit zoom and fit to like 25 percent so i can just see everything and right basically where all of these harsh edges are on our effect we are just going to mask like a nice looking t-shaped uh mask around them so that we can help better blend them out so i'm just going to draw this t-shape and boom now that we have all of our T-shapes masked out, we're going to hit the invert key and voila. Now we're going to come over here to this feather and we're going to increase this feather. So we have a nice looking blend and you're going to make sure the feather is not to a point where if we zoom in, we can still see the line. So you can see the feathering just barely gets to where the line is on these effects so that you know, we're not going to be able to see them uh, in the final video. So now if we look over here, we barely have any harsh lines and if you can still see some lines faintly through them. You can just obviously come back down here to this mask and just adjust this path so that all of these harsh lines are gone. And now once we play this back through, you can see we have a nice kaleidoscope effect going on here with no harsh lines whatsoever. Now comes for all the fun effects. We're gonna come back over here to our effects tab and we're gonna type in Gaussian blur and we're gonna apply this to our adjustment layer as well. And then I'm going to just increase this blurriness to about 13-ish. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a mask around the center frame of my subject and then I'm going to hit invert. And then I'm going to increase this feather right here. So now that we have a nice blur on all the edges of our subject and the footage. For the next step, we're going to come back over here to our library and we're just going to add another adjustment layer and we're just going to expand this to the clip length right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this blend mode is on screen. And now you can see that kind of just brightened up everything, but we are going to add some effects first. We're going to come over here to our effects. We're going to hit transform and we're going to drag this right here. 
And then what we're gonna do to this transform is we're gonna increase the scale a little bit and now we have a nice little echo going on right here. I'm gonna come back to our effects and I'm going to type in lens distortion and I'm gonna apply this to our second top layer as well. And then I'm going to increase the curvature negative. So we have a nice little lens distortion going on right here and it just makes things feel a little bit more rounded. Then I'm gonna apply another Gaussian blur to this layer right here and I'm going to increase this blurriness up to about 30 ish should work. And then for the final effect on this adjustment layer is we are going to type in VR abbreviations, chromatic abbreviations. We're going to apply that right here. And now you can see we kind of have a dreamy looking, more realistic lens blur kaleidoscope effect going on here. Simple for the next step, we're just going to hold option and drag just to duplicate the effect. And now you can see things just got really bright. So to turn this down, we're just going to come over here to the opacity on both of these. I'm going to drag both of them down to about like 50. And then I'm gonna come to this top layer and I'm gonna come over here to our transform and just increase this scale. Um, even more so and boom there we pretty much have the final effect you of course you can go ahead and mess around with all these settings you know just create different alterations you know create more duplicates and so on but here is the final result if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you again so much for watching i hope at the end of this you guys will be able to walk away with an effect that you can use for your future music videos or projects if you guys haven't yet already make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe with the notification bell on for future updates on tutorials like this also make sure to leave a comment down below if you had any questions or suggestions throughout the tutorial once again thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video